Hi friends, after so much thinking and so much going back and forth, I finally bought the Aerogarden Horvest 2.0. I still don't like that I paid $90 for this system, including tax, it is more than $90. I still don't like the purchase I made, but I just want to give it a try and I wanted to give my thoughts and my review on this system with all of you. So I just got it, let's see. Let's start with unboxing. Herogoden has changed a couple of things with the system. Instead of giving the pre-seeded pawns, they actually included seeds. Here it is, the bowl and the light panel. I already started liking this design, the detachable light panel. It is connected through USB. It is kind of similar to AeroGuard and Bounty models. I like this detachable light. This just gives me more flexibility while I'm cleaning it. Here is a grow deck. Unlike the Aerogarden Harvest or Bounty models, this is a single piece. This doesn't have the irrigation that pumps the water to all the holes. Here is the Aerogarden Harvest. Let's see them side by side in size. They look pretty similar. The grow deck is very similar in size, just different in design. Then this is the light pole. We can adjust the height to six levels. One, two, three, four, five and six, the basic one. Then couple of accessories, stickers, pot baskets, sponges and the hole covers. I really like that they started including hole covers because very often we don't actually use all the holes depending on the plants that we are growing. We may limit the number of plants to four or sometimes even two. So having these covers is really a good thing. So I appreciate that Aerogod has started including them. Then the nutrition bottle and good that they included a measuring cup. I don't like pouring the nutrients using this cap. This is very small and very uncomfortable. So this measuring cup is a good addition. I have so many of these measuring cups lying in my house that came with a lot of medicines. It's not a big deal. To someone who doesn't have any of these measuring cups handy, this addition is going to be very helpful. Then finally, the grow bowl. It has a small pump. This is very similar to Aerogoden Sprout. And this water indicator is also slightly different. We can actually, there is a small see-through window. We can actually see through this one. Let's see how it is going to work in action in a bit. But for now, there is a small see-through window here and there is a small setup here. One way I like this because the roots are not going to go inside this setup. So I really like that. Looking at this bowl and this grow deck, it looks like an upgrade to a sprout model than the upgrade to harvest model. And coming to the light panel, these lights are 15 voltage lights. The Aerogoden Harvest comes with 20 voltage lights. So if you just compare the voltage, it is actually another downgrade. But let's see if that is really matter. We will learn that as we grow the plants. Finally, the adapter. I just want to mention that one thing I really like compared to any other harvest model is this grow deck. If you look at this grow deck setup on this bowl very closely, the grow deck is covering the bowl very well. Look at this harvest model. This grow deck is actually go inside the bowl and it leaves lot of gap all around this grow deck. Even though I like the harvest model so much and 
this is my favorite hydroponic system so far but still i really hate these gaps all these gaps create a lot of mold algae and all kinds of nasty issues all around this grow deck i had to clean this grow deck at least once in a month otherwise i can't really live with all the nasty stuff all around the grow deck so i definitely like this very well designed grow deck that is covering the grow bowl very well i don't see any gaps there is a little gap here where the cable is coming out but i think that's not a big deal everything else is very well designed i really like this part now let's put this light pole that's it and one more interesting difference i want to call out is the nutrition and water indicator this is an elite model but even on the non elite models there is a water indicator and a nutrition indicator on the base when it comes to this harvest to 2.0 there is a manual water indicator here and the nutrition indicator is on the top so that's a slight difference right to this nutrition indicator light there is a touch button this button is not only used to manage the nutrition indicator it is also used to turn on and off the lights look at this the lights are turned off now touching this button will turn on the lights and touching the button again will turn off the lights something similar to other harvest models but in a different way now let's check the height adjustment i'm pulling out the light pole to the maximum height now let's measure how much height it supports it supports the height adjustment up to 11 inches aerogoden marketed as 12 inches but that's a lie even on the other harvest models aerogoden marketed as 12 inches but practically it is actually 11 inches so that's a big fat lie aerogoden always market with all right that is pretty much about unboxing all the accessories and the differences compared to other harvest models now i'm going to put it together and start experimenting with it so this system came with a black seeded simson this is a lettuce variety i'm going to use this seeds to experiment the growth in this system for any lettuce we should be able to know the performance of this system just within 20 days because any lettuce variety should be ready just within 20 days for the first harvest even though the plants are small we can start harvesting lettuce from day 20 let's see how this is going to turn out in this system in this experiment i am going to use all the pods i'm dropping three seeds in each pod and starting with all six pods all right the garden is all set with the six pods and three seeds in each pod now oh, these pods are actually staying very strong in these holes normally these pods stay very strong in any aero garden model but in this harvest 2.0 they are staying even stronger they are not moving at all one thing i just realized that is missing in the system is the dome covers but i have so many dome covers i am going to use them i am really surprised that aero garden did not include these domes in this model either they missed for me or they don't include i am not sure but i didn't get them all right this garden is all set and good to go let's see how this is going to turn out i will make a follow up video in 25 days so please stay tuned now i am going to add water and see how this water indicator is going to look like all right i fill the water to the maximum level now look at this water indicator there is nothing really there if you look from the top look at this small red spot basically that is the float when the water level goes down this red floating thing will go down and that will be visible in this clear visible area that is the indicator that the water level is low whenever you see the red float here you need to refill the water that is the quick video about my initial thoughts on the system and little comparison with other aero garden harvest models all right that is all for now thanks for watching and happy aero gardening